learned that we have a box lunch physical location in Maine. And so we visited it for the first time today. Well, my sister's been before, but this was my first time visiting. And I found this Disney pin. I've never seen this one before. You can open it and there's Tink. That's too cute. This one was $12.90. Everything was buy one and get one 30% off today. We have Baymax with the little birds. They had two Baymax versions, but I preferred this one. He was $9.90 before discounts. And then we also found Elvis Stitch. And Elvis Stitch was $10.90. And now we have some blind boxes that we need to open. I am beginning a set and adding to a set. And it's time. Oh, <gasps> look at the blind boxes. Oh, all right. We're gonna go with this one first. These are the different train pieces we could get. People are very excited about these ones online and I've not participated in purchasing any of them yet. Oh, <gasps> the wheels actually move. You got Goofy? I got Goofy. No, Pluto. Pluto. The wheels actually move. You can connect them. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I didn't know the wheels actually moved. Okay, let's get the other one from this series so we can see them connected. Hopefully you didn't get two Plutos. I hope I didn't get two Plutos. That would be sad. That does happen to people a lot. I got Mickey! The head of the train! That Look. is so fun! <laughs> yeah! And all four of his wheels move. Connect them. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at that. So cute. Oh my gosh. I feel so satisfied. Not I lucky. Should've... I should have purchased more of them. I think Mickey might be the hardest one to get. I should have purchased more. People are selling like individual pieces for 12. Online. Now, do you want to open Stitch because he's a lone soldier? All right, let's open the lone soldier Stitch. We purchased only one of these. Stitch with some food. So we'll see. Mm. I would really like any of them. I'll tell you what one's my favorite. I especially like a stitch with the cupcake and stitch with the pizza. Which one's your favorite? Stitch with the sushi. Stitch with the sushi. That's another good one. They're all cute. I feel like the one I would want least is the one in the donut. It is cute, but it's my least favorite. Hopefully that's not the one that we get. <laughs> well, you're not supposed to say your least favorite. On the it's heavy. Oh God, it feels round. Don't, oh. don't just open it. Just open it. It's round. It's the donut. I know it is. <laughs> it's the dang donut. <laughs> of course. That's still very cute. Brittany, you need to show these to me first. Oh, sorry. That's the wrong box. There's a bite taken out of it at least. Hmm. He is like in real life. He's definitely a lighter pink than I was expecting. He is still cute, but, and he's large. But like I said, that was my least. definitely seem like they're different. They seem good. like they're different. That's good. Okay. Oh, this All other right. One first. I am continuing this series. Presently, I have continuing this series. Presently, I have, I do not have Belle. I have Snow White, Princess Aurora, Princess Jasmine, and Princess Tiana. So we want to see any of the others that are not those ones. And the reason that we are opening these in the car is because I could not wait till I was home to film in my normal setting. Neither could I. Show it to me first. Ah, it's Princess Jasmine. <laughs> She's a duplicate. I'll have to use her Boop. as a traitor to get one of the ones that I'm wanting. Oh, okay. If we could get at least one that I don't already have, that would be fantastic. Alright, you look Pocahontas. First. Nope. Belle. <gasps> I don't have Belle! Yay! <laughs> That's a cute one. Oh, alright. I'm excited that I got at least one that I didn't already have. And we'll have to just trade her. And we got lucky on these ones to have pulled Mickey. That was pretty good. The fact that these wheels actually move makes me so much more excited than I decided to start purchasing this set the cutest. So there's our pin haul for today, including the ones that we already knew about because they were not blind boxes. 
tank. She's so cute. Blind boxes. Blind boxes. Mystery packs. The blind boxes. Mystery oh, packs. God, I don't like that. You don't like that. Alright, well I can't get them all in one. Look at my burn. And even though it's not a pin, we're gonna add this in to the video. Look at that Spirited Away shirt by Studio Ghibli. I love it. World of Studio Ghibli. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> what did we pay for this? $24.90. That's not awful. It's a very thick and I got a medium, material too. Cause I like them big. This looks huge for a medium though. It's gonna be roomy. I love it. Oh. We have some exciting pin mail today. We have five total packages. Got these three little ones here. We have our first pin mail from Vader Pin Trader, an amazing seller. And then we have a box of pins as well. So I'm gonna save the box and my Vader Pin Trader mail for last because those are the ones that I'm most excited about. So we're gonna get started here with this one. Oh, I'm excited about these because they are continuing a set that I am almost done with. I'm just missing Minnie Mouse at this point. These are some of the portrait pins. We have Mickey, we have Daisy, and we have Pluto. These are the around the world portraits. So they're all posing with different well-known icons from around the world. So there's Pluto in Egypt. Here is Daisy, and here is Mickey. These three pins have come and are in great shape. I will say that they are from a seller that I do not plan to purchase from any longer on whatnot. I have had a couple of issues with this seller. I got a loose pin back at one point that wasn't disclosed and just generally don't like the vibe of the shows that this seller hosts so i'm just choosing to be done purchasing from that seller i'm not going to throw a name out there because i don't really want to bash anybody specifically but i just want to say if you are considering making purchases on whatnot just be careful in the people that you're choosing to purchase from if you don't like the way that they're running their shows pay attention to that it matters that kind of thing but i will continue to shout out sellers that i really have had great experiences with so keep that in mind. I will say their names specifically. We have this Daisy Donut adding to my donut collection. Oh, I think I was too busy talking, but these are the pins from this blue package. So a different seller at this point. It is a whatnot purchase, but it didn't come with the packing slip, so I don't know the name of this seller, um, but I did enjoy this seller. So I will purchase from them again in the future should they have some pins that I'm after. Next up we have Marie. I am now almost done with this Pets and Collars series. I just need Pluto. Yes, I just need Pluto. And then that will be the complete set of these pins. One more Munchling to add to my collection. I just purchased some Munchlings at great prices yesterday in a show, so they haven't come yet, but I now am down to needing just three between the three series that are already out. One of the series I have completed and the other two series, I need one from one series and two from the other. This is Maleficent. So she is not completing a series for me, but she's helping to complete a series. Next up, who do we have here? Oh, this one is, I didn't even know they made this pin, but this is a pin for Abbott Elementary. It is a show, I think on Netflix, and being a teacher, it's a show that I was watching pretty consistently for a while. I haven't currently been watching it, but I did enjoy it, so grabbed this up at a great price. We have two more donuts from this seller. We have the Minnie Mouse donut here. Look at that, that's so cute. I really love the size of these donuts. They're good size pins. And our last pin from this seller and our last donut is Mickey. This is a large set. I think it's 16 total donuts, so I don't even think I'm halfway in this set, but happy to scoop them up as I see them 
at good prices. Moving on to the third smaller package. Uh, this one was a giveaway that I won from a seller. And interestingly enough, this is the birthday that I most recently celebrated. So they had no idea what my age was, but just funny that this pin was my giveaway item and that it is actually relevant to my life. So. It is cute and I will be keeping it. Now we are going to move on to my purchase from Vader Pin Trader. This is the first purchase I've made from him. He is a fantastic seller. I would argue one of my favorite sellers on whatnot. Just very interested in giving people good deals and good quality items. He takes the time to show you the items really well and make sure that you are receiving something that you are happy with. Got a couple little pieces of candy in our package from Vader. That was sweet, my kids will enjoy that. Oh, one more piece of candy. And then we have some very nicely packaged pins here. So if you're into Disney pins, absolutely check out Vader Pin Trader. He is worth it for sure. <gasps> I am very excited about these. I have completed this train set, which is a new pin set to be released. And typically I'm not even after the newer ones. In this case, I decided to go for it because Vader had such good prices on the mystery boxes. And between his mystery boxes and the very kind people that I was in the show with, I was able to get all of the pieces that I needed to the train and now have the complete set. So I will show that to you. And the little wheels move and everything. <laughs> Too cute. Here is Vader's little card that he puts his pins on. How cute is that? And these are some of the places where you can find Vader. Do check him out. Really can't say enough good things about Vader. He and his wife run the shows together and they're fantastic. I also got this, uh, okay, I figured them out. Somebody in a show that I was in said chip, like chocolate chip. He has the black nose. Chocolate chips are brown or black. Not really black, but you know, dark like his nose. So this is Dale with the red nose. So here's Dale with a little Aloha. I just have a thing for Hawaii. So anytime I can scoop up a pin that says Aloha, I do. I'm not necessarily trying to complete this Hidden Mickey series, but I actually think that Dale makes the second one in this series for me. So maybe I am low key trying to collect the series now. I bet you can guess that these are some more train pieces. I had two pieces to the train that you saw me open with my sister when we were out shopping together. And then I got the other four pieces of the train from Vader. Here is Daisy. These are very beautiful pins. They are lounge fly pins. <laughs> Look at Daisy. I just adore that these wheels genuinely move. It's just a very cute little additional feature. And when you pin them in your board, this is how the pieces would hook together. I was also able to scoop up one more pin to my Mickey Emotion set. We have this kind of neon yellowish green winking Mickey face. So we're getting closer. I only have one more, a teal one, that I need to get from this set now. My last little bundle from Vader. He's also very fast with his shipping. This purchase was made this week and here they are already arriving to me we have goofy the train piece that is goofy there is cute goofy love his bright colors and then our final train piece is donald and when i get everything opened and get these into my book i will show you the whole train set so cute Now we are on to our last 
purchase, which is this nice large box. I won a giveaway in this. I really love that the seller wrote box full of treasures. Super cute. This is from a whatnot seller called Picking Porter. Also a seller that I really appreciate. Look at the goodies we've got in this box. So we've got some additional little pieces of candy. Again, my kids are going to love that. I might keep that piece, but they will love all of these other things. That was very sweet. And then lots of pins that I purchased and this was a giveaway item. Oh, a villain's creepy cuff. Snap, hug and go. That's really cute. So it looks like we could get a different villain. I don't think it's necessarily one of those two. There's probably several that it could be. Yep, eight huggable friends to collect. So I might have to look into grabbing two more of these if I can so that I could give one to each of my kids. So I'm gonna leave this one sealed right now. I'm sorry if you wanna see what's inside, but I'm gonna leave it sealed and hope that I can grab a couple of others and add them into a future gift for my kids. But that was a very sweet addition. What do we have here? Oh, this was a giveaway item. I won the buyer's giveaway in this show. And often the buyer's giveaway is the most expensive item that's given away in the show. So we have this lounge fly wallet that was originally $17. And we have the Aristocats, we have Duchess and O'Malley on the back, and then we have the kittens on this side. Too cute. So that's a really fun item to have gotten for free. So I won a giveaway in the show, and then I also won the buyer's giveaway. So that was a very lucky show. Another piece of candy I was hiding down in there and some very nicely wrapped pins. Really enjoyed Picking Porter's show and would also recommend that you check them out. We grabbed up this bell bow. This is the first bow in this bow series that I have collected and they're beautiful. So I do think that I will be pursuing the others in time. I got the last bike I needed, so now my bike series is complete. This is the Monsters Inc. bike, and this one was the hardest for me to find. I don't know if it's always the hardest to find, but it was the hardest for me to find. How cute. Look at the little Monsters Inc. logo in the middle of the wheels. So far, these have both been Loungefly pins. Loungefly makes very beautiful pins. <gasps> And then I forgot about this. I was able to purchase three of the munchlings from the Christmas set from Picking Porter at a great price. Oh, so excited. Here we have Pumbaa from Timon and Pumbaa and the Lion King. He looks like he has butter and chives on him. I don't know exactly what kind of food item he is, but there he is. He's very cute. He makes my second munchling from the Christmas advent calendar that I've now been able to scoop up at a great price. I also was able to add, oh, the back on that was on. This is a two prong pin and the backs are proving whew, to be on there really well. I was able to grab up another hot air balloon. This is Jiminy Cricket in his hot air balloon. And in the middle of his balloon there, it says official conscience. Love the glitter. I did not pay 12 for it. Definitely uh, paid less and therefore got a great deal on that pin. Then I was able to add one more pin to my Princess Signature series. This is Princess Aurora. Love the little owl and the stars around her name. Another lounge fly pin. And my final couple of pins from Picking Porter are two more from the advent calendar, making a total of four out of 24 that I have collected. And I'm excited about 
Mickey in particular, because I already have Minnie. She's the only one that I had prior to purchasing these three, and it just feels right to have Minnie and Mickey together. So here is Mickey. He will join Minnie. And then here is, oh, this is a character, Coda from Brother Bear. Has like a little Swiss roll or something of that sort. Some kind of holiday treat anyway. I like the glitter and the little berries up here. Oh, and look. There's even some little marking on the cheeks. That's super cute. And there you have today's pin mail haul. Couple of giveaway items. There we go, I had to add in this giveaway item. Couple of giveaway items down here. These three, and then lots of gorgeous pins. Per usual, beginning some sets, completing some sets, and adding to some sets. What is your favorite pin that I received today? Hmm, if I had to pick a favorite, which would it be? That is tough. Hmm, I think it's probably the train pieces for me. It's just a really beautiful set. I love that I completed it, so those would be my favorite for today. Look at the cuteness that is this completed train. Oh my goodness. Too cute. Here are the four that I have in that world traveling portrait set. One more is on the way, and then I'm missing just Minnie. And here are the four munchlings from the advent calendar that I have been able to purchase so far.